Hey guys, it's Caitlin again, and today I am coming to you with a 20 style challenge. So this has been trending a lot on Instagram, and I've seen it on a couple of different art groups that I'm on. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. So it was a lot of fun. Overall, it took me the span of like three days, probably about four to six hours to do all of them, because some were a lot more difficult than others. Like, uh, for example, the Sailor Moon one, I think it's a problem that I have with a lot of them, but there's so many shows that don't have characters with curly hair. So Sailor Moon was terrible because everyone has like wavy hair and there's no curls. And if they are, they're these giant ringlets. I'm like, all right, well, I can't do giant ringlets every time because technically my hair has ringlets, but I don't know. I don't, I don't personally see it that way. I see it more like fro-ish. So for a lot of these, it's like, kind of attempting to make curly hair in the style of the show, since a lot of them don't have curly hair. Um, some of them were easier, like the Steven Universe one at the beginning, or Powerpuff Girls, or Doug, um, Disney. There was a lot of them in here that were a lot easier to figure out because they actually had characters with curly hair. So um, if it seems to get somewhat repetitive with how the curls go, I apologize, but like some of this, the shows, I was like, well, this one's more angular, this one's more like this, but it was really hard to figure it out without any reference to how they personally draw curls. So uh, overall, it was a lot of fun. It was really challenging. There were some parts that I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how. And uh, I had to look up a lot of references from like, I own some of the manga or the shows or some screenshots. And I'm like, okay, I think I, I got it figured out. But um, it was a really, really cool challenge because I, when I was doing all the characters and drawing them, I'm like, wow, now I kind of know what my style was inspired from. Because you know, when, when you're starting to learn how to become an artist, you draw inspiration from other sources. Like for me, I grew up with like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, Danny Phantom, Fruits Basket. There's so many series that I absolutely adored as a kid. And I know for a fact, I drew all the time, like in my spare time. So just by doing this, I could kind of tell like, oh, I kind of drew how I draw eyes from Avatar The Last Airbender, or oh, like this is how I draw hair. So it's kind of interesting to go back and do some of your favorite childhood cartoons or maybe even new ones. Like there's a lot of ones that I drew that were from the most, like the past couple years of shows I've watched. And I can tell like, oh, I was influenced by that show. So it was it was a really cool exercise. I'd really recommend it. I mean, you don't have to do a huge amount of like 20 styles, but I would really recommend just trying to uh, push yourself out of your comfort zone and try something new. Cause I mean, for example, one of them that really pushed me out of my comfort zone was the Disney one. Cause I, God, it's been years. Like I drew Disney stuff when I was like maybe 10 or less. And even then I was so engrossed with anime. So I wasn't prepared for some of the styles and it was a really good exercise to try to push me out of my comfort zone, try something new. And I think it helped me grow because I'm like, oh, that's successful in this type of art and this type of style. So why don't I try it? So overall, really fun. Uh, if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. I would, I have a whole list. Like I literally wrote out 30 different styles so I could easily do another one of these if you guys want to see it. Go ahead and leave me a comment, a like, whatever. And uh, I guess that's it for now. So enjoy the rest of this little speed draw. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And thanks for stopping by. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants so you better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a 
rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up, cash in the bag See I'm bad, baby, I'm bad So one little comment on this part, and I know you guys are not going to believe me, but I do have like straight up fangs. So I had to do Marceline, of course, as like my tooth reference for Adventure Time. So next time when uh, you see me in a stream or a video, I seriously have straight up super sharp canines. So I had to add the fangs here, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay, bye. sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light
Whew, and there is the full 20. Overall, I was really happy with how it all turned out. Like, looking back at this now and re-watching it, I'm noticing there's a couple things that I probably could have improved on and uh, some more styles that I could tell were really difficult and I should have spent more time on. But overall, I think this was a really fun challenge and it was really great. So thanks again for stopping by, guys. If you like this content and want to see more stuff like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you next week.